Let's try a little experiment on this page. I'm going to put two angle brackets on each side of the music store. And then I'm going to preview this web page. We have a bit of a problem here. Only one set of brackets displays and the store name has disappeared. Let's see what we can figure out here. I'll return to the code. First of all, Visual Studio automatically added a closing tag. We don't need that, so we'll delete it. The problem with trying to display certain symbols like angle brackets is that an angle bracket is interpreted as an opening or closing symbol for a tag. To solve this problem, we're going to use entities. Entities are little pieces of HTML code which display symbols and characters. I'm going to replace this angle bracket with an ampersand. And we have a list of choices here, so let's look for less than. There it is right there, LT. We even see the less than symbol here. And it added a semicolon to the end of this. I'll do the same thing to replace the second angle bracket. And let's jump over to the two greater than symbols. What do you think the entity will look like? Well, if this is LT, how about GT for greater than? And D, that's what it is. Let's view this. It worked perfectly. In addition to entities replacing the less than and greater than symbols, here are a few other entities you will commonly use in building HTML files. You've got amp and a semicolon for ampersand. You've got copy for copyright. You've got NBSP for non-breaking space, which is used to control the number of spaces between two items, should that become necessary. And then you've got QUOT for double quotation. Keep in mind, all these entities start with an ampersand and end with a semicolon.